Hi, I'm Eric Wilcutts, Dean of the College of Letters and Science here at UW-Madison. And I'm Chris Brune, Assistant Dean for Facilities with the College of Letters and Science. Building a new humanities building is one of the top priorities for UW-Madison in this year's capital budget. As the Dean of the College of Letters and Science, I'm proud to say that we teach over 85% of all the credit hours for all freshmen and sophomores at UW-Madison. So that means regardless of whether the student is going into engineering or business or CALS, their chances are they're going to be taking a class in this building. The Mossy Humanities Building was constructed in 1969. It's outdated, it's falling apart in many areas, and it's simply too expensive to maintain. So for anyone who's ever taken a class inside the building or even walked by the building, the reasons for replacing it are pretty clear and obvious. So we're going to take a brief tour and show you some of the features of the inside of the building. So we're here in 1131 Humanities Hall. We teach over 70,000 credit hours over the course of an academic year in lecture halls like this one throughout this building. And as you can see, this room provides a tremendous challenges for both our students and our instructors. The fixed seating layout in this lecture hall makes it almost impossible to have an active learning environment for our faculty and students. We also have concerns related to safety if there's a fire in this room or in an active shooter situation. And finally, as with all the lecture halls on this level, we have issues related to water leaks that affect the concrete, the rebar supports, the walls, and the floors in these rooms. We've looked at the cost of fixing up this building, of taking care of the maintenance issues, of taking care of the health and safety issues that we've talked about. That cost would be over $70 million. It's a far wiser investment to build a new building to handle our needs. So what we're going to do now is head off to the largest lecture hall in the building, and one of the largest here on our campus. So we're here in 3650 Humanities Hall. This is the third largest lecture hall on the UW-Madison campus. In a given semester, over 5,000 students will take classes in this room. And those classes include not just history, but also English, computer science, and even biology. So many of the features of this lecture hall date back to 1969. The seats, the stage, the lights are all original to the room. We also have a very rigid design in terms of this fixed seating that makes active learning almost impossible in this lecture hall. We also have issues related to the disabled seating. There's insufficient seating and also difficult access to that. And finally, we have issues related to the utilities in this room. When the air handler starts up, it can get very noisy in this lecture hall. And finally, water issues are a concern in this room as well. We've had enough water come in in short periods of time where sections of the ceiling have fallen. Fortunately, no one was injured, but this is an ongoing annual concern. The Department of History, which is the prime tenant of this building and will be of the new building as well, teaches over half of its classes in Humanities Hall. In this room, as well as some of the smaller lecture halls, and we're going to take a look at one of those next. We're in one of the 18 smaller classrooms that we have here on the second floor of the Humanities Building, and many of them are in the kind of shape that we see in this room. Only three of those 18 rooms have the kind of technology that we need for modern instruction, in part because we're worried about the water damage and the leaks in the building. And because of those water leaks, we've had to seal all of the windows and the rooftop of these classrooms. And even with that, we have problems with water damage on the ceilings, the walls, and the floors throughout all of these classrooms. And given problems with environmental controls within the building, we have issues related to odors and mold in many of these classrooms. One of the other things that we see in the Humanities Building is that our students come into the building, they take their classes, and then they leave. They don't linger in the hallways and the common spaces. The reason for that is they're simply not inviting and inclusive and welcoming for our students to have those kinds of one-on-one, -on -one, spontaneous interactions and engagements that are so valuable for their education. So what we're going to do now is head up to the fourth floor to see some of the offices where our professors and our teaching assistants work. One of the things we want to point out are some of the health and, health and safety issues we have with the current building. So what you see here is a major exhaust air duct, and this is a violation of state building code for safety reasons. What could happen is if there was a fire in any one of the classrooms on this floor, the fumes and smoke would be pulled from those classrooms into the corridor, making it very difficult for students to escape safely. We're 
on the fourth floor of the Humanities Building, which is home to our world-class history department. One of the challenges we have with this space is that we, as we try to attract the best scholars, the best students, the best staff, the facilities that we have do not showcase the wonderful talent that we have here at UW-Madison. The windows in the Humanities Building are single-pane copper clad, and what that means is that in the cold winter months, the condensation on the inside of the windows can build up where we have significant water and ice issues. And what happens is the water will build up and come down the walls and onto the floor. Now the custodial staff will try to line these windows down numerous corridors in this building with towels to try and absorb that moisture, but it's not enough. And you'll still see the damage to the walls and the floors, which is a trip hazard as well. It's a constant maintenance issue. So now let's head back outside and have another look at the outside of the building. As you can see, the Humanities Building is failing to meet the needs of our students, faculty, and staff, and really is beyond repair. Building a new LNS academic building is simply the most fiscally responsible approach given our serious maintenance issues in this building. This is a long overdue reinvestment in our UW-Madison students and the state's future workforce. We have a world-class institution here at UW-Madison, and our students deserve a facility that reflects the quality of the education that they are receiving. Thank you.